Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends RCS Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, we are not a third star Galaxy Core member, so we cannot advance to the next section of the game. We're going to have to go on a bit of a catching spree, at least. We're going to go back to the Crimson Mylands, try and catch some more Pokemon. There's plenty of areas we haven't visited yet, and we might have to try and knock out some research tasks. I also said I could look at this blackboard. Um, and see which things I could do. Bothersome Bidoof and Krogunk's Cure to Poison. The Pacel, okay. <clears throat> Krogunk, find out what help she needs. What is this? Guiding now active. There are some requests posted. Yeah, let's see. We can look at the Bothersome Bidoof. Um, all right. I think for the Bothersome Bidoof, what we have to do is go, like, actually catch several Bidoof around town, which is no Gusta, no Gusta at all. Because we can't catch them, obviously. No good. Can't be, uh, well, I guess we can catch one thing. And no, we can't, because we got our starter Pokemon in town. Obviously not. Um, let's see real quick where uh, we need to go. Let's see. Uh, mission. Oh, no, 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 no. Mission requests. Here we go. A perfect pickling stone. Catch a worm or to give to Beauregard. Well, not doing that. Let's see. It seems the Pracel, captain of the medical cord, can make medicine using Krogunk's poison. Ask her for more information so you can help her out. Speak with Pracel, let's see. Yeah, let's do that one. Back. All right. It should be leading us towards that now, right? Well, she must not be in town. Or it would show us, right? All right. Well, then, no worries. We're just going to have to go back out to the Crimson Mire lens, I suppose, and see what we can't get done. Also, guess what? We unlocked this girl uh, who can also do some hairstyling. So hopefully we have some different hairstyles now. Finally, we can get, uh, you know, looking good, maybe. We'll check it out. Maybe we'll abandon our um, bandana finally since we did pay 500 up front. I am buyer motivated to change my appearance. Like, what does that look like? Short, so, ooh, twin tails. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Curled? No, I don't think so. Braids? Mm, 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 mm. Side part? Wow, definitely not that. Middle part? Ooh, how trendy. Yeah. Shorn? Long? I mean, long looks pretty solid, or at the very least. I don't think I'm the short. Like, this looks, I mean, yeah, I think we're going to switch. We're going to move off the bandana. It's happening. Can we switch up the uh, overall look? I kind of like the pink, you guys. Kind of like the, ooh, the crimson looks pretty good too, though. White, oh, definitely not. Oh, definitely a gold, ooh, going blonde. Could we? Slate, okay, that's where we're at right now. And then brown, that's kind of boring. Um, yeah, obviously, I think we're going to have to go pink. That's for sure. We should probably go ahead and match our eyebrows to it. Maybe, maybe we go, with the, oops, no. Maybe we go with crimson eyebrows. Yeah, that looks a little, a little contrast on the face there. I like it. I like it. Yeah, we're going for a big style change. Thank you. Bam, here we go. We're looking fresh. We're looking, we got some pink hair now. Oh, we look unstoppable. We should probably change our clothes as well, because now our hair is sort of clashing with that scarf, and I don't like that one bit. Um, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go see what we got. I know we should probably spend our money on more important things, but I don't know what could possibly be more important than accessorizing our character. So, um, in any case, let's go see uh, you. Do you have clothes for me? Let's see what goes great with our brand new pink hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely passionate about clothing. Definitely, let's get fashionable. Oh, oh, a male and female hippopotas. I can't do that. You can only do one. Also, just can you, um, uh, I want to buy clothing. Thank you. Maybe. No, we don't want anything on our beautiful pink hair. Are you crazy? Unless, well, is there anything else? Is there things that sometimes they have cool things that are not? Let's see. Flat cap, flat cap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. Woven hat. Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of exciting. Ooh, the Shinx. That's kind of fun. The festival mask, a little pricey. I'm not against it, though. I don't, I don't mind the headbands. These look pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. Mm, these are, I know, we just got rid of the handkerchief. Okay, the question is, do, I think we, hmm, okay, I kind of like, I think we need to get festival mask Shinx. That's for sure happening. Yeah, go ahead and grab that. Especially since we have the lovely Mercury on our team. Yeah, we'll be changing right away. Thank you. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, what else can we get here? Everyday kimono. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. 
Amethyst. The Amethyst doesn't look bad either. I don't hate that. Fancy Rowlet! Oh, it is expensive, but also look how good we look. Look how good. And it's like an homage to <gasps> Fancy Cleaver. No, that doesn't look as good. Fancy Weird here. Mm. Fancy Ursaluna. Oh, Fancy Lilligant. Yes, we are buying it. We must buy it. It has to be done. Okay. Now we, oh, we have very little money left for pants, but you know, we'll make do. We're going to make do. We don't have, we can't get the matching bottoms yet. But we want them. We want them so badly. Can we get something a little bit better? Something that matches kind of? That's not bad. That's not bad. Pine trousers. Okay. We're going to get it. Yeah. Okay. Waste our money. I mean, not waste. I mean, this is intimidating on all fronts. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We might have to keep the sandals. Obviously, we don't have enough money to buy just about anything else, so that's sort of a bummer. Oh, eyeglasses? Ooh. I mean, we have money for it, right? And I do wear glasses. Oh, man. I don't know if that looks any better. Look, there's no sides to the glasses. No, I think we, we, we just pass on that. We keep our killer sandals on for the moment. Yeah, we're done shopping for now. See you later. We look amazing, there's no doubt. Yes! Oh, look at us. Brand new look. We look so good. Oh, all right. Time to go catch Pokemon. All right. So our goal now is to try and find places where uh, we haven't caught anything yet. So I've been writing everything down. I know we didn't get anything at the Cloud Pool Ridge. So let's go ahead and just set a marker right here and we'll head over there and we'll see if there's something we can catch. The catching stuff is hands down the fastest way to get stuff uh, accomplished. But we also try and probably need to try and complete some research tasks. So you can only complete research tasks for stuff you've already caught. So, like to that end, we have Carnivine. So, like, we can go fight a ton of Psyduck, but that doesn't really help because we haven't caught Psyduck. But if we go knock out a bunch of these Carnivine, that does help because um, we can... Uh, that there's one of the research tasks for Carnivine is how many you've knocked out. So, here we go. Let's knock out this Carnivine. Plus, uh, on top of it all, that just gives us fantastic, um, you know, experience for everybody on the team. Hooray. So let's see. It should tell us, like, how many we defeated. Six out of six. So boom. Just like that. Research task complete. That's fantastic. Where are we headed? Are we even going in the right direction? There's an Alpha Psyduck over there. No, that's the wrong direction. Where's the stupid point? Over there! Okay. If I recall... How do we get over there, though? How doth we get over there? That is the question! First of all, we can ride on our deer. Gosh, we look so much better with our pink hair and our new uh, clothes. We are just Pokemon better be looking out. Let's see, we didn't catch you guys, so it's not as important. We should try and probably uh, get as much experience as we can all the way around. Ooh, Carnivine, it's going down. Prepare to die. All you non Mackenzie Carnivine are inferior. But we'll take it down, no problem. Fire Fang, that stuff. But dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. Celestion Ruins, okay, that's not where we're going. Man, how did we get up there? Is this some big, like, giant workaround? I feel like it is. I feel like it was not easy getting up there. It's like you have to go all the way around, right? Uh, yeah, we gotta go all the way around to the Diamond Settlement first. Here we go. All right, well, whatever. No big deal. We're also going to keep fighting stuff along the way because the more research tasks we can get done, the absolute better. Boy, we've done pretty good so far against our Pokemon Nobles. With the next one we have to do is actually the Arcanine. So the big, um, the best Pokemon for fighting Arcanine on our team is hands down going to be Luisa, our Floatzel, because it is a rock fire type in this game. And it's going to be four times weak to water. Uh, plus, there's plenty of other water options along the way. Don't you dare hurt Mercury, you fiendish plant. What do you have to go twice? In what world, man? How inaccurate is Fire Fang? The answer is it's not. You're dead. All right, see ya. Defeated Carnival. My goodness. No, nine out of 12. So if we can knock out like three more, we'll be looking pretty good on that front. That'll be two more research tasks done whenever we get back to camp. We should also just go ahead and... I'm just going to go and potion Mercury real quick because... Was that a super potion? Ah, oh, that was a waste. I should have regular potioned. It's okay. It's okay. Actually, I don't have to get off the horse to do that. Oh, look at that. Onyx! 
to have. Stunky. Are we in a brand new area yet? Scarlet Bog. So this is actually where we caught Stunky to begin with. So we don't really need to do much here. We can at the very... We probably could send out, like, Nice to do some... Um, uh, to use some ground moves on these guys, get a little extra experience as well. And since we caught a Stunky, it's actually probably worth knocking some of them out. Poison gas is not cool. Because uh, knocking them out will give us research tasks as well. Just bulldoze this thing into oblivion. See you later. It's dead. We didn't take any damage. That's what you love to see. Number you defeated with ground type moves. Excellent. So actually defeating these guys is a really efficient way to get some research tasks done. Because we can defeat... Just by defeating them and defeating them with ground type moves will get us double. So... Acid spray. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Defensive stats were lowered, but that's okay. We should just be able to bulldoze our way to victory here. No problem. Bam dead, ha. Huh? Boom dead spork, am I right? Where's that other one? There it is. Number of your ground type moves. About to be... God, they're all so fast. I mean, are we surprised? Are we surprised at the, uh, you know, the might of a stunky? We're not. Bam. There we go. You love to see it. Now, six with a ground type move. Excellent. Excellent. Just means we're moving that much faster towards research tasks. Of course, the fastest way to get it is just catching stuff, so we're going to do that too. But this is good experience. Ah, we're taking damage. I don't like it. Okay. Oh, those. Yeah, you're going down, stunks. I am. I don't have space in my satchel. What about for this? Got that one. Got that. Oh. Got that one. All right, are we in a new area? Boulderall Slope. Did we catch something here? I feel like we did not, but we already have Graveler, so that might have been part of the issue. No, we don't have anything for Boulderall Slope. Yeah, we were looking around. I think there was, lest I am mistaken, um, we should probably fight those things. Yeah, there's that Togetic over there. I'm not sure how we um, actually go about fighting. Let's see if we can fight this thing with Lisa. Knock this thing, because also we have Graveler, so knocking these things out should be beneficial to us. And we should be able to do it pretty quickly, because, uh, boom! Yeah. They're four times weak to water as well. Number defeated, three. Excellent. The question is, how do we get that... How do we get that Togetic to come down here? Can it, can we summon it with some berries? Maybe, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, it's raining. What if we just try and aim our Pokemon at it when it flies by? Could that work? I'm as tough as the crust oh, of the that earth. aim. Luisa! <laughs> Sorry, we just hucked Luisa into the water. No big deal. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Got a rough and destructible surface. We're really bad at this. I don't know how to get it down here. Do we have to be able to, like, fly or something? Or is this just a matter of, like, aim? Okay, Rhyhorn. This is a new one. Excellent. All right, we're going to go for it. Oh, we've encountered it. It wants to fight. It's going down. All right, let's go. Let's catch this guy. Rhyhorn. Great Pokemon. Great Pokemon. I, I, I'm totally fine with this being on the team. Let's go with... I feel like Water Pulse is definitely just going to knock it out, which we don't want. So we're going to go for the... Mm, mm, Let's go for the rock smash. Let's see how this does. Boom! Okay, that did pretty good. Also going rock smash. Not as strong. We shouldn't knock it out. It doesn't look like it would knock it out. We can be... Yeah, let's try it. Don't knock it out. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Rock slide. We avoid because we're amazing. And then... We can just go... I think we can even just go Heavy Ball, because it's obviously a heavy Pokemon, right? <laughs> go, do it! Boom! Rhyhorn on the team. Well, not on the team, but, you know. Caught, anyway. That's fantastic. We love it. It's another one. 
All right, we need, we'll have to get a name for that once we get back. Now though, we can just go knock stuff out because that'll give us um, more experience and more research tasks. Cloudpool Ridge. Okay, we're in yet another new area so we can catch yet another new Pokemon. Fantastic. Also, we can, I guess, work on the spirit tomb. Not that it really matters, but you know, there it is. Wouldn't that be a great like, oh, look, look what we got. 19 wisps remaining in the area. Yeah, right, we're gonna go catch all those. Ooh, Murkrow, that's not a bad Pokemon. Dark Fly, I kinda like the sound of that, honestly. Better than, well, I mean, Crobat's good too. Oh gosh, Haunch Crow! Uh-oh, 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 we don't want the Haunch. We don't want that Haunch. Not one bit, get away from me, Haunch Crow. Holy crap, it is, it is, it is attacking us hard. Oh gosh, someone's attacking. Look at that beautiful crescent moon. The sign, the sure sign of a Cresselia in the area, am I right? All right, you there. You're going down. Yeah! All right, this is what we're gonna try and catch. Is this Murkrow keeping its guard up? Oh, it ran away! How dare you? All right, no big deal, let's go get you. Die, fool! Keeping its guard up. Ran away, come on, man! Don't you wanna be on my team? We have berries! Oh look, another Spiritomb thing. Go get it. Oh no, it's way over there? Ugh, never mind. I thought we could just run over and grab it. Oh, the haunch! I mean, the haunch is tempting, but obviously we can't get that. That's gonna, that would just wreck us. Then we'd be in real dire straits. I feel like it would probably knock us out pretty, pretty solidly. At least at the moment. The alpha Pokemon are not to be. All we need is one of them to fight us. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, let's go over the Thunder Wave, I think. I don't think this is gonna be that hard to catch, especially if it's paralyzed. Don't you run from me. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Let's just go right for the Pokeball. Boom! Yay! Don't have space in the item. Oh gosh, there's so many of them around here. I guess knock it. Oh, go! Oh, something bad sound. Something. Oh gosh, so many, so many. Okay, haunch. Has noticed us. We don't want that. We don't like the haunch. The haunch is bad. That thing's going down. That looks like a giant carnivine, though. Geez, not even alpha. Fire Fang! Uh-oh. Oh, he's burned? Excellent. You dare crunch us, bro? Yeah. Ah, okay, if we can get two more Carnivine, that'd be good. There's one. Prepare to die. Okay, now we're actually in the Diamond Settlement, and I can see, I wonder if we can go over to this Cricketide. That's the only thing I think I can see in here. But since we're here, we may as well try and catch something, I suppose. Just to give us more. Let's see, Backstrike! Boom, all right, well, I'll take that, I'll take that. That gives us the diamond settlement. I should write these things down, shouldn't I? <laughs> Hold on. All right, I think we've basically caught something everywhere we can catch something, but I did transport over to the Brave Arena. This is where we fought the Lilligant. I'm not sure if you can catch anything else up here. Um, or if it's just sort of like an empty area now. It seems like there should be Pokemon. Brave Arena, right? Is there anything to be caught up here? We should at least check it out. That would be very helpful if we could find something. But so far, I'm not seeing much. Yeah. Not seeing much of anything. That's a bummer. It feels like there should be something up here, doesn't it? Where is the Lilligan? Oh, like there's, okay, there's something. If we, does it change? I guess it's still, this is still Brave Arena, right? Nothing's changed. 
Oh gosh. We go for the Zubat? I guess we should. Okay, we're gonna try and get Zubat for Brave Arena. Let's see. Let's go with the old... I feel like Aqua Jet won't kill it, hopefully. Oh, we're great, we're gonna get the Zubat, okay. I'll write it down, Brave Arena. No! Oh, what a hit fight! Ah oh, man, I'm gonna knock it out. But now we're gonna try again. Maybe we'll just go straight for the Crobat, eh? I guess we could go for the the Burmy or whatever is in the tree. Let's find out. Oh gosh. Get away from me. Was nothing in the tree? Why was it shaking? All right, this Golbat wants some? Let's go, let's just get the Golbat, forget it. Level 28, bring it on, use Bite. That, did, that didn't do no damage, I'll give it that. Um, I think Thunder Wave is the way to go here. We want to definitely try and slow this guy down. It missed! Oh no, I don't like this. Air cutter, that could be bad. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna um, heal real quick so we don't make any dumb mistakes. Mm hmm not very effective fight. Let's just give it a Thunder Fang. I don't think this will knock it out, honestly. Are you, how fast is this thing just dodging everything? Cross poison. <gasps> oh no! Oh, we're gonna have to run, y'all. Yeah, see ya. We'll come back in a second. I don't like that one bit. Times you've seen to use air cutter. I don't like this one bit. Stop it! All right, let's do this again. We're gonna try and just, we're just gonna redo this fight, right? We're just gonna redo it. Oh, a combi! Now look, it's gone. All right, um... Well, obviously we don't want to catch a male combi. If we can catch a female combi, that'd be way better. As you can tell, because they have a pink spot on them. Not a tremendous job we're doing catching something, though. I don't want the male combi. Come on. We want female combi if we're gonna have anything. Although maybe it really just doesn't matter, as long as we're probably not gonna use it either way, right? Oh gosh, come on. Let's just go for the catch. I don't have, I don't have time for this. Ah, oh, the tree's in the way. I oh, was wasting pokeballs. Get him! Boom! All right, Combi, we got it. We'll take it. Okay, so <laughs> we've got at least four Pokemon. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but we're gonna head back to camp now and see how far we are. Then we're gonna have to go do some research tasks. So it's probably not the most exciting episode we've ever had, I'll tell you what. Oh, wait. No, I'm good for now. See ya. Laventon, you fool, get over here. Four Pokemon, yes. Look at that, mm, pretty good. Right? Look, we have money, now we can buy more clothes. Oh boy, I feel like this isn't gonna be enough. I feel like it's not gonna be enough, even though we did a lot. We did a lot. Oh, we're so close. We have 570 more points to go. Oh gosh, gotta go, okay. Oh man, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a struggle. Oh no, oh no. What about you? What do I do for you? Could you lend me a hand? I was on my hair for the Milo's camp. Alpha Hippowdon, come on, I dropped the charm I was carrying. Now I can't find it, I have to get it back. If you find the charm in the swamp, could you bring it back to me? Oh man, now do you want me to go fight some alpha Pokemon? I don't think so. Okay, we need to figure out what tasks we can do to, um, times we've seen to use Rock Slide. Okay, we need to go out and use Rock Slide a bunch of times. Number defeated, we need to go fight a bunch of Graveler. <laughs> um, then we defeated with fighting time moves. So we need to go, we need to use Rock Slide and go knock out a bunch with fighting type moves. Okay, that's easy enough. We can do that. 
Um, because we have a Graveler. Does it have Rock Slide? Does uh, Nice have Rock Slide? It does. Okay. Fantastic. First of all, we should also heal while we're at camp. Hold, please. That's nice. So in a weird way, it seems like having caught some really common Pokemon is actually advantageous to our quest here because it means that we can do a lot of the research tasks that involve fighting them really, like without having to like hunt them down over and over and over again. Um, so like we can just, I've, I found so many Stunkies so far that it's been really easy to just like knock them out. And um, like, you, they, it like some of them stack. So like you get points, not just for defeating them, but like defeating them with like a ground type move. So like every time I use Bulldoze, I'm actually doing two at once, which is really nice. Also though, if I can, um, I'm also trying to use Rock Slide as much as possible, because that'll get nice some research tasks completed as well. Anyway, that's my, that's my new revelation. <laughs> Back to the grind. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to the professor and see how close we are. Hopefully, hopefully we're close. Ah, okay. Hopefully. Are we close? Are we close? Ah, oh, God, we didn't even get halfway. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this is, this is painful. What would you like to do now? Oh, gosh, this hurts. Ah, uh, continue my excursion. All right. Okay. Man, that's hard. That is frustrating. We are gonna have such work ahead of us. What else can we be working on here? Oh my gosh. Um, number defeated, number of times you defeated with Garden. Thunderfang, we can just go Thunderfang things and Crunch things and Strong Style things? Okay, that's handy. We should also maybe be using you so we can find stuff instead. All right, so right there, that's already one, two, three, six more research tasks. That's pretty good. We can go Thunder Fang and Strong Style moves really fast as well. We can get a bunch more just completed with Mercury here, which is the best kind of research task to do, right? Because it's already our strongest Pokemon. Are we gonna be a little over leveled? Maybe, is that okay? Definitely, that looks like a very big Ghastly. Is that an Alpha Ghastly? It is, okay, I don't know about that. Don't know about that though. All right, we've got at least seven more research tasks done with just my nine research tasks done with Mercury, okay? So come on, dude, this has gotta be enough. Yes, please, please, this is so many, so many, so many. I guess weirdly because we got that Badoof earlier in the game, the Badoofs do count, so like we had to release it, it was still part of the tutorial. I totally forgot about that, but that does count, so that's good. Come on, man. We got nine more. That's so many. No, it's so close. <laughs> Why? New, 10 complete. You only get 10 points per research task. It's so little. It means we have, oh no. It's so <laughs> We have so many more to go. Oh no, this is the worst. It's taking forever. Oh. Uh, when do these guys? You don't. E you two don't even evolve. When does? When does Krogunk evolve? That would help. Oh gosh, let's see. Huh. It evolves at thirty-seven, so it's not even really that close. Let's see. Is there any easy evolutions we can get out of our Pokemon just to get just? To, just <laughs> I want to see my Pokemon. If we had a Thunderstone, that one would be easy. When does Crookitown evolve? Oh gosh, this is getting this is getting dire. Hold on. Ugh, you're sorta of close. All right, we're gonna move at the very least Neo onto the team in favor of Mackenzie, just to try and get some level up 
fun just just to maybe help us out a little bit what else who else on the team can we be working on research tasks for oh my gosh looks right we can get more thunder fag more crunch those are pretty easy strong style move is slow but that oh boy that's gonna be tough um time scene use rock slide number defeated I guess if we found a Thunderstone, that would probably be the fastest thing because we could evolve the Pikachu. Floatzel. Agile style move. We can do that two more times. That's super easy. Number you defeated with a rock type move. Gosh. <laughs> uh. Number defeated. Just knock out Parises, I guess. Cricket Dot. Number defeated. Uh, time to give it food. Number you've evolved, that'd be great. So we can evolve it. That'd be like two research tasks, I guess. Weasel, Shank, Starly, Bidoof. Uh, number defeated. Uh, uh, we can knock out like five more. Oh gosh, this is going to take forever, you guys. We're just having to like go so slowly through it. Cricket Hot, number defeated. Where is the... Crimson Myrlins. What about the Lickitung? What's the Lickitung? Number of times you've given it food? We can do that pretty quick, right? That'd be not bad. Number defeated with fighting type moves. That feels doable. Ugh. Ugh. Defeat them with fighting type moves. Okay, where do we find you? Shrouded Ruins. How, how fast can we get there? Pretty quick. I don't know. Oh, are we going to be one off? Did we get it? Oh, oh, we did it. Oh my gosh, we did it. Thank you. Return to the village. Yes. Oh my gosh, we finally we did so many research tasks. <laughs> Just like, oh my God, that took forever. This is going to be so slow. Oh, it's going to take forever and ever and ever. This game is going to kill me. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Uh, okay, other things we can do. I did collect some satchels while I was out there. Which is good. I can get a little bit closer here. We got large EXP candies. That's good news. Because it means we can... Maybe we can get Neo to evolve. Hold on, hold on. I bet we can get pretty close. Because it evolves at level 24 and we're at level 20. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait a tick, wait a tick. Might be onto something. Uh, move, let's, let's just move something in here. Yeah, just move all at once, yeah. We'll continue to build that up, move to satchel. Yep, yep, okay, hold on. Please get all the way to 24, I doubt it's gonna happen. Oh! We did it! Oh my gosh, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna wait until we go into the next area just to guarantee that we get the evolution to count on the next area. Hold on, let's go get our big reward. <laughs> the big final reward for freaking Silene here. Oh my gosh. What an endeavor. Actually, actually, wait a minute. Buy clothing. Yeah. We have earned pants, I think, you guys. We earned the Lilligant bottoms at the very least, right? At the very least. Yeah, give me the pants. Yeah, we're changing right away. Thank you for your purchase. Do you have better dumb shoes for us to wear it doesn't look like it it doesn't look like you have any good shoes well okay yeah we're done shopping for now forget it don't need you we'll just rock the tall socks and sandals that's fine with me i don't even care please level us up please level us up please level us up Ah, uh, yes, yep. We did it! We are a star! Oh, oh, it took so long. It took so long. We did it, oh my gosh. We are gonna have to try and make sure. <laughs> Great balls, yay! Ah, uh, we did it. That was, that was difficult. We should give some names out real quick as well, probably. Oh my gosh. 
Oh. My. Gosh. Alright, I needed some, we need to get some celebration names is what we need. Yeah, I want to go see my Pokemon over here. I need to get some, I forgot to, I should have given them names earlier. What was I thinking? I was so bogged down in all these research tasks, getting lost in my work. You know how it goes. You know how it goes, right? You have Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Uh, I just want, I didn't name some stuff. Because we need a name. The Rhyhorn, the Combi, the Cricutot, and the Murkrow. Alright, let's go. Ready? Change name. Hold, please. Noel. Noel the Rhyhorn, that's after Veronica Noel. Thank you for watching. Let's get into the Merc Row here. All right, this is named after Kyra G, but I'm going with Kyrag for Merc Row. And uh, Kyra G also has a really good suggestion that we put Pokeballs on the map to mark which areas we've already caught stuff in, so that I don't have to sit there and like constantly check. Really like that idea. Thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna start doing that. Killa. Kill a Cricketot. Get it? Because we got killed by the Cricketoon. Yeah. Also, that's named after Kilowatt. Oh, great name, by the way. I just got it. <laughs> and now we're going to do the Combi. Sadly, uh, I feel bad naming someone after the Combi because, like, it's just, it's a male Combi, so we're definitely not going to use it. And uh, it's just, it's like, it's, it's straight inferior. It is just like inferior. I. Inferior! There you go. I'm sorry. That's your name. I can't I can't rightly name the Combi after someone. I don't think they say every Pokemon is someone's favorite Pokemon. I don't think male Combi is anyone's favorite Pokemon. So I'm sorry. You're not gonna name it after someone. I wouldn't do that to anyone in the comments. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to have a chance to have a Pokemon named after you, make sure you leave a comment in the towel section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Please like the video because oh my gosh, that took so much effort to get to the freaking third level. Now we're gonna have to do it again to get to the next area at least there'll be a lot more stuff to catch like that'll help us along a lot if we can evolve stuff that'll help a lot oh uh, we'll be able to evolve neo we're gonna have a parasect ba boom if we can never find a thunderstone we can get to ride you that'll be great <sighs> these are the goals these are the things we have to worry about the next area has tons of pokemon to catch though so we should be okay anyway thank you guys so much as always for watching until next time bye and before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineras, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork.